Okay, so now we're going to create an explosion layer, and I'm going to drag the scrubber until I can see my, um, right about there, let's say. And we are going to create a new shape layer. So to do this, we're going to go underneath our two layers we have so far, two finger click on the trackpad, new shape layer. You can also go to layer, new shape layer. And highlight that, hit the return button, and rename this explosion. And we want to make sure we have a rectangle selected. So it could still be on ellipse. To change it back to rectangle, press and hold. Click rectangle. We're going to keep it the same color. And we don't want to stroke, though. So you're going to click on the word stroke and click none. Click OK. And we're going to just draw a little rectangle at the top here okay and if you want to zoom in a little bit you can click on the percentage fit up to 100 percent it's a little bit easier to see okay so we have our first rectangle i need to make you need to make sure you click on the word contents now before you click the word add and then repeater and then we're going to twirl down repeater we're going to put 30 copies of that same rectangle in so it's going to go all the way off the screen for now. And then you're going to go under Transform Repeater. Make sure you're still in the repeater little section. And there's two things we want to do. First, we're going to put the position at 0, 0. So that means all these are stacked on top of each other. So to do that, I just clicked on the 100 there and click 0. So that's stacked them on top of each other. And the second thing is we're going to rotate them around the anchor point, which is this middle um, section here. So to do that and to get them even, we're going to take 360 degrees, how many degrees are in a circle, 360, and divide it by how many uh, copies we have, which is 30, and we're going to divide that, which is 12. So put 12 here. Boom. Make sure you're under the transform under the the explosion layer. Okay, so just this is going to say transform. And wait until you're about, your circle is about halfway done. So maybe there. And click scale and make sure it says 0%. So it would have been at 100% before, which is fine. We're going to scale it down to 0 at the point where the circle is about halfway done. And then when this circle finishes, we're going to scale it up to 100. So now it's going to look like this. And then the dash circles are off our screen, and we're going to scale the explosion layer even longer. So this is what it should look like. Dashed. There we go. When you're done with this section, save and move on to the next.